first blood. The bottom lane, Snowball Good. goes laid out, and he will be able to get the bounty run in and try to body block up Crit. Oh, he's in fact, he's doing it beautifully, so Jerex. He's sitting for a poor Crit. with such a low movement speed, too. They'll catch up with Mind Control, and this will be the first blood of the tournament. Crit, they're trying to turn around. Mind Control, oh, it's Mind Control that goes down first. A beautiful Shallow Grave comes in from Fly at the perfect time. This is why teams have banned away the Dazzle against OG in the past. Yeah. It'd be really funny if Jax could have actually caught the SF with all those creeps there. He's got vision of it. If no tails not careful. Oh, with the right eye shards. Yeah, I think he's gonna in. go for it. Make him take some damage. He'll come in. He knows Spada has the haste rune too, so they're gonna be able to run down no tail really easily. Oh, the here. Dazzle's not and on that's the right end. Second kill. Dazzle can't get there in time. And Team Liquid pick up a second kill of the game. Uh, snowball plus the other two. Plus the eye shards. Mm -hmm. Just good overall. Play. Play they may still go for the dive here, Fly. He's going to be caught. All he has is a shell of Grave and a TP out, but the Snowball is there. That'll stop the TP and yet another kill going to Liquid. A great start for Liquid here in this game one. Jerix, not hit by that race, will be able to serve. Survive as No Tail seems to be counteracted by Liquid. And he got most of the stacks already before they came, luckily. But he lost the big one, and most importantly, he died. And on top of that, they lose the support there, too. And half the experience, too. Whoa! Shadow Shaman ends up getting mind control at the bottom lane. Miracle, not even level 6, but it works out anyway. But Tumba Man's going to try and chase down Crit. Will be able to clip him. Oh, oh doesn't Crit. actually hit him with the ultimate. Crit dodges that. Now it has the creep wave to soak up the Rocket Barrage, but it's just too much damage too quickly from Matumba Man. Good rotation by Matumba Man. Sometime, but Matumba Man... It's like a roaming Night Stalker now. Level 8, he's going to go for the hunt onto No-Tail. They have the vision of him too. He's going to catch him full on with the ultimate. That's going to double slow No-Tail. And Matumba Man claims to kill just like that. Fly TP's in, but again, just too late. Explain that you want to put pressure on, and it makes it so that the SF is forced into a position where he more or less has to come with the rest of his team or play really greedy. And oh, middle eight, they're going to die behind the tower to catch Fly. He's got a shell great, but this time around, no TP. Even when there wasn't a disable to stop him. So Fly will be going down. It looks like they'll take control of this middle tower. So as you were talking about, invasion into the Radiant Jungle. This is one of the most common plays in 6.85. Miracle is. And then your SF has already gotten far behind. Where are you exactly meant to go? Like, all your stacks are kind of in danger now. And Matumba Man's just going to run in the crib right here. Yeah, he's got a double damage on my control. They throw out this global silence and now catch him with the ultimate of the sonic wave. Matumba Man's going to be able to run down No Tail as well. That's going to be two free kills. Well, Fisher gets laid out, buys a little bit of time with the Shadow Grave. There is going to be a Shadow Strike, but Fly still has the heal. And No Tail will be able to survive through that tick damage. The Shadow Fiend is just about to finish his treads right now. And... And the lead continues for Team Liquid. It's already climbed to about 6,000. No Tail absolutely can't afford to die here. He's got Rogue backup, Fisher, but... The ultimate's gonna be able to land on two of these heroes, and Crit is gonna be the target. Can they finish him off? Yeah, the TP not even close to competing. The homing missile's still gonna be able to hit No Tail. Mind Control has a blink up in one second. He can actually finish off No Tail. No Shallow Grave Radiant's available, as Fly is not around. Moon hit by the Shadow Strike. Strike, Mind Control just trying to buy himself time. Oh, they are going to go, go for Snowball Moon. Play. They've got the Walrus Punch to finish him off too. Radiant's and now the other two members of OG, attack. they're only just Radiant now straggling into this fight. Fly. But it's already over. The amount of pressure that Liquid are putting on, it's so calculated. Radiant's it's really intelligent the way that they oh, set everything fly. up. He's going to be hit by that one, has the Shallow Grave. But again, Liquid, they just seem one step ahead of OG. Fly's going to be taken out eventually Radiant's here. Jerex may go down. No, nope, he's got enough magic wand Radiant's charges to keep himself alive. Even when they're diving into almost tier. Once he has Manta, Dyer's right, and can get rid of that silence, that's going to be really when Animage uh, can start farming a bit more freely. But uh, they're peeing for top. Yeah, they're going to try for it here. Crit. Oh, the global silence comes in. Crit thought he was going to be able to get off a disable, but instead he's going to die. As they don't even worry about him. Fada turns around and gets that last hit. They're hoping to be able to get more. Jungle. Like, this is the best ward that they could get down. But you notice that Liquid has been placing sentries with their wards. So he's got no idea if they just TP to that Oh, Jerex. That wasn't the fight he wanted to run into. Trying to scout things out, <laughs> happens to run into all. There is this one little copse in the trees where you can't see unless you go directly up, and Fada doesn't scout him, but they do catch Moon. Jarek's managed to catch him in the ice shards. Walrus punch up, and now Fada will run down Moon pretty much with ease. Miracle coming in, but he's got no real response. Just some sort of play by OG where they, you know, maybe catch the gyrocopter in the bottom lane or something. There's What's going on? Silence. Snowball? Nope. Jarek's. 
You put it onto the creep. <laughs> Liquid knows there's four up there. They saw it with the ward. Like, they have a really nice ward place here that saw it the entire way through, oh. but they're going to smoke into all. They're going to run into him. Oh, Global Silence goes off. They're going to go for Miracle. They chase him down with these. Now they're going to look towards No Tail. Caught up by the Ice Shards. Jarkov's ultimate will land as well. Mega kill streak from a tub of man as they will now take control of this tier two. Just doesn't stop. OG, this would be huge if they could get this kill. Thought it's going to be a toughie though. They do have Global Silence. He's got 1600 HP when he's on Shrank Treads. He's gonna pop out now, see a couple of heroes. They're gonna continue forwards right, here. The they know there's a weed, but there goes the Global Silence. Now Fawn is actually just gonna turn around, stealing the damage of No Tail and going for crit. He's gonna be able to get him. Well, Shadow Grave comes out. He's blocked out by the Fisher, but there's a zoning Gyrocopter ultimate that makes it so OG can't actually respond and chase down Fada. A good TP out there from uh, No Tail, but it was the only thing he could do at that point. He used his gold. There it is, a blink dagger for him. So now they've got some extra jump. Even if it's not the greatest disable in the world, it'll be enough to catch Moon here. Ron and Vana, and that doesn't change a thing. Bubba Man coming in from behind, hitting his ultimate, maybe slowing down the animation enough for Snowball and Walrus Punch. But... Yeah, they had Global too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. You know what he was called? Oh, mid. Yeah, Miracle. Global Sounds goes off this time around. They do catch Miracle, and they're going to get crit too. It looks like that sound's going to last long enough. There's going to be no Shallow Grave. Moon. Yeah, he's going to be hitting that big nuke sometime soon, but Tumba Man's going to throw off that ultimate. Moon's definitely dead. Maybe they can catch Fly 2 all the way underneath Tier 4 Towers. OG are just being demolished as No Tail throws out the ultimate. It doesn't mean much though, but Tumba Man behind these Tier 4s. GG. 21 minutes in, 3 to 23. Liquid. Everyone was looking at as them being the underdogs of this matchup, but they start off game one incredibly strong. Yep.